Hello, I'm Jose with Free Sky North America. In today's video, I'll go over the FWTM Light Trainer module. I will also demonstrate how to set it up so you can begin training. Advantages of the FWTM module. All current Free Sky radios have the built-in ability to wirelessly connect to another Free Sky radio for training via Bluetooth. While Bluetooth works well, it is limited on range. Ideally, you want to be right next to the student when using the Para Bluetooth trainer system. The FWTM module does not use Bluetooth. Think of the FWTM module as a receiver that the student radio binds to. So the range and interference rejection is much better. The Para Bluetooth system is limited to eight channels, while the FWTM light module is capable of 16 channels. Although eight channels is more than enough in most cases. I did a video entitled Full House Trainer Setup, where I control everything on a 12 channel plane with the eight channel Para Bluetooth trainer system. The FWTM module is ACCS TV2 and access compatible, so the student radio can be any FreeSky radio, even older ones that don't support Para Bluetooth or another manufacturer's radio, as long as it supports either ACCS TV2 or access protocols. All right, let's go through a full setup of the FWTM light module. I have my X20 Pro radio here, and I will use that as an instructor radio and this X14S will be the student radio. Obviously the first step is to take your FWTM um, light module and hook it up to your instructor radio. So it'll go into the module bay in the back. Go ahead and flip that up. There it goes. And now we need to set up the model file. So. I'm going to go ahead and start a new model uh, just because because I want to make it a little bit more um, more channels. So let's go over here to model select. And I'm going to add a new one, create. And it's going to be an airplane. Let's say it is a non-stabilized receiver. Say it's two channels on the engine. Two channels and ailerons. Uh, flaps one channel and tail traditional with two channels on the elevator and one for the rudder. And we take a look at this list and we can see all the channels that it assigned for us. Move forward, go ahead and name it, and we'll name this FWTM. That'll work. All right, so there we go. So this one's set up. And now let's go to the student radio and set this up. So I'm going to go ahead and create a student model file. And the good thing about this, if you do the simple trainer setup, you can use this one file for multiple uh, models um, for the, tr for the uh, trainer system. So I'm going to go into model, model select, scroll down to the bottom. Create a new model and airplane. Now this is uh, X14, so this does not have a touchscreen. But I'm going to go ahead and choose airplane using the page button. Non-stabilized receiver is fine. And for your trainer model file and all the mixes, it should be very basic. So one channel for the engine, one channel for the ailerons, no flaps, traditional tail and one channel for elevator and rudder, and that's it. So one, two, three, four, that's all you want. Let's name it, and let's, let's name this one student. Okay, and that's it. Okay, my student uh, model is created. Let's go back to the um, main radio. And then scroll over to the trainer system. On a trainer system, what mode do you want? This is the instructor, so it's the master. And the link mode 
If you're using the FWTM module, it is SBUS external. Click on that. Active condition, let's assign a switch to it. So we'll just go ahead and use this switch. So I want it to be um, in student mode when I hold this button up. So I'm gonna hold that button up and then I'm gonna hit return while I'm holding it up. I'm gonna take a look and it says active condition. I just wanna see that SH down bold when I press the switch so I know it's working correctly. Okay, so this part is set up over here. The next thing that we need to do is register and bind this transmitter to the FWTM module. I'm gonna to go to model and go over to RF system. Internal module, activate that. State on, protocol, yeah, let's do access. And then now we're ready to register. So again, think of this as a receiver, the, the module is a receiver. So to register it, we're gonna have to press and hold the button down on the FWTM module like it's the receiver um, after we um, register it. But same thing, we gotta power off the, the radio. So I'm gonna go ahead and power off this radio now. Okay, register. Register. Go over. Press the button on the back while I power on the radio. Register. And there it goes. So I gotta keep pressing the button down until at least I get to this screen. Okay, and there it is, register. FWTM module and register. Registration's okay. Next thing that we're gonna do is bind it. So I'm just gonna get ready. You got power off the transmitter again. Choose RX1. Bind. It's going to go to bind mode and go ahead and power off. There it goes. FWTM bind. and bind is okay. Okay, so at this point, um, we should be pretty good to go. The big thing is if you're using an FWTM module, I do not need to go into the trainer setup in this radio like for example here and going over here and set this radio to slave or anything like that. This radio is essentially using the regular transmit to transmit to that. So it's not using the Bluetooth trainer system or anything else. So this radio is pretty much set up. So let's double check it. I'm gonna go into model and go to the trainer system. And you notice that these are now green. In other words, they're active. So let's check. There's my aileron. There's my elevator. There's my throttle. And there's my rudder. That's it. So we confirmed that this is talking to this. This is not outputting yet because I have not hit the trainer switch. So the screen that you see over here, and it's showing you the different movements, this is just showing you what the trainer radio or the communication between the trainer radio and this radio. In order to double check functionality, what you wanna do is you wanna go into, so, so let's hit return, and we're gonna go back to outputs. Now I can double check everything. There's my throttle working here. And if I was to press the trainer switch, now this tr throttle works. This one's my ailerons, and the reason why I chose two ailerons is to show you this. Um, I think I've done it in other videos, but just to make sure. This one channel that we have set up for the trainer module that's automatically set up will control both channels. So if you take a look over here, aileron one and aileron two, if I move it, both of them move. If I go over here to this one and go into trainer mode, they both move, and they both move in the right direction. And again, just make sure that you have no rates, no expo, no trim on this radio. All the rates, expo, trim, and even reversing is done only on your master radio. So on your instructor radio, go ahead and set up your model file the way you normally would um, with rates, expo, everything else. The uh, trainer radio does not do any of that. Now, one thing that is always good to do on your trainer radio and you got a specific trainer file for it, I'm gonna go to model and I'm gonna go to mixes. And over here, I'm gonna go into the aileron mix and edit it. 
go down to here and turn off trim. So I just turned it off on ailerons. We can do the same for elevator. Edit and find trim and turn that off. And back it up. Throttle. Edit. It's a little bit different. It's over here at trim and change that to none. And go to rudder. Edit and find trim again and turn that off. So that way there is not going to be anything wrong with the setup. You want to go ahead, turn off trims. And again, don't do any reversing on this and you're done. So for a basic four channel setup where you have ailerons, elevator, throttle, and rudder, this is it. You're done. Okay. If you want, you can add other stuff like flaps and everything else. Um, but for a basic trainer radio, this is done. So that's pretty much it. That's how you set up an FWTM module and make it work with a trainer radio. If you guys have any comments or questions, go ahead and comment on this video or feel free to email me at jose at freesky-rc.com. Thank you very much and have a good day.